Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, you gave, gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us. And the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth, we beseech, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be, forever. Amen. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be forever. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery, 
the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O oh Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. Despise not, not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, whoever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, so that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over His household, the Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, Father you entrusted our Savior to the, to the care, care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your Church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being. We praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, his love is trapped incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, 
let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with new charity minding us all. In the gospel we share with all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Monday in the second week of Advent. We will now have the morning prayer of a church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was born by his hands. Come, let us worship the Lord, the king who is to come. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Peace be seated. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage, and enter the, best, the presence of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread, by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God, amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise Him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep, in the roar of waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be, forever. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of His hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent. Rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May our prayer petition rise before you, O Lord, that with purity unblemished, we, your servants, may come as we desire to celebrate the great mystery of the incarnation of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exult. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble, Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert, and rivers in the steppe. The, the burning suns will become pools, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The abode where jackals lurk will be a marsh for the reed and the papyrus. A highway will be there, called the Holy Way. No one unclean may pass over it, nor fools go astray on it. No lion will be there, nor beast of prey go up to be met upon it. It is for those with a journey to make, and on it the redeemed will walk. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return, and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness, sorrow and mourning will flee. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Our God will come to save us. Our God will come to save us. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for He proclaims peace to His people. 
Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Our God will come to save us. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Our God will come to save us. The Lord himself will give his benefits, our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Our God will come to save us. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, the King will come, the Lord of the earth, and he himself will lift the yoke of our captivity. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem were sitting there. And the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence, but not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd. They went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God, and struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang pag-asa ay naibabahagi para itong virus na nakakahawa sa magandang paraan. Katulad na nangyari dito sa Ibanghelyong sinalaysay sa atin ni San Lucas. Paralitiko Helpless. Walang magawa sa kanyang buhay, hindi makakilos. Pinapakain, pinapainom ng ibang tao, pinaliliguan. Kung dudumi, kailangan ng alalay. Ni makalakad. Kung kayo paralitiko, buhay pa kayo, mistula na kayong bangkay. Ang tukso sa mga paralitiko ay mawala ng pag-asa. Subalit nakita nyo naman ang pag-asang hindi namamatay sa kanyang mga kaibigan at mga kamag-anak. May pag-asa pa. At ang pag-asang yan ay nakita nila kay Kristong Manunubos. Nanalig sila na itong si Kristo, itong Mesiyas ang magliligtas sa kanila sa buong mundo kasama na doon yung kanilang kaibigan at kamag-anak na paralitiko kaya pumunta sila dinala nila yung kanilang may sakit di sila makapasok sa dami ng taong gusto ring gumaling o doon mawawalan ka na rin ng pag-asa wala yata tayong lugar naunahan na tayo yan na ginawa nila Aba, dinala nila yung kanilang may sakit dun sa bubong. Kasama, pati higaan. Pagkatapos, itinungkab nila yung bubong. Gumawa ng butas. 
at doon nilaglag tadahan dahan yung kanilang paralitiko. Kaya ang ating Panginoong Iso Kristo siguro inagula tanong. Nangangaral siya, bigla na lang makita niyang merong isang katawan sa harapan niya. Pero humanga siya dun sa pananalig ng mga tao ngayon. Hindi sumusuko. Bakit hindi sumusuko? Sapagkat may pag-asa. Apagka ang tao na wala ng pag-asa, sumusuko. Naduduwag. Ayaw na. Kaya yung pag-asa ang nagbibigay buhay sa atin upang kumilos. Kung wala tayong pag-asa, ni isang hakbang, hindi tayo gagawa. Paralitiko tayo habang buhay. Subalit kung may pag-asa, pati paralitiko, nakakatayo. Ayan. Kayo ba may malaking suliranin? Mga problema. Dahil dito yung nawalan kayo ng pag-asa. O ito, oh, buong mundo, mayroong problema ngayon, pandemya. Isa ba kayo dun sa mga nawalan pag-asa? Na hindi na kayo kikilos sapagkat akala nyo itong problema ito ay eh. walang solusyon? Eh napaka din rin naman ang solusyon eh. Yung new normal na tinatawag na actually, yung new normal na yun, panahon pa ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Ano yun? Magbalik loob. Magbagong buhay. Yakapin yung buhay na disiplinado. Kaya nga tingnan nyo ating Panginoong Heso Kristo nung pinagaling yung paralitiko, ano sinabi? Ano sinabi? Ang mga kasalanan mo'y pinatatawad na sa iyo. Hindi niya sinabing bumangon ka at maglakad. Kaya nga, naiskandalo yung mga pariseyo at mga iskriban na nakikinig. Ba, Diyos lang ang nakagagawa nung magpatawad ng kasalanan. Ha? Ba't yun ang sinabi? Dapat nagpapagaling ang sinabi niya. Ay, bumangon ka at maglakad. Pero hindi yun ang sinabi. Sinabi, ang mga kasalanan mo'y pinatatawad sa iyo. Sabi, magbagong buhay ka. Bakit? Yun ang solusyon. Sapagkat aanin mo yung mga paangyan kung makalakad, hindi mo naman alam kung saan ka pupunta. Walang direksyon. Maraming mga taong ganyan, ano, nakakalakad, ano, pero ginagamit yung kanilang mga paa sa mga lakarang walang saysay. Kung saan sa ang mga puok pumupunta na nagbubuyo sa kanilang magkasala. Aba? Ano yung mga paang yan? Bakit ginamit sa ganun? Saan pupunta yan? Yan ba mga paang yan? Binigay ng Diyos para kayo mapunta sa impyerno o mapunta sa langit? O, kaya ang ginawa natin, Panginoon, yung solusyon unang-una. Ah, ah, magbagong buhay ka. Ano yung bagong buhay nyo? Abay, buhay ng disiplina. O, yun ang tinatawag natin yung normal ngayon. Eh, actually, hindi man normal yun eh. Hindi new normal yun. Nakalimutan natin na kaya tayo may problema, yung buhay natin, hindi disiplinado. Oh, o oh, ngayon, oh, nagkaroon ng mga problema. O ano ngayon ang solusyon natin? Di magbalik loob. Bumalik sa tamang solusyon na nakalimutan natin na ngayon parang bago. Disiplina. Hindi naman tayo pinagbabawalang kumain. Huwag lang matakaw. Baka tayo kumakain, hindi para mabusog, hindi para lumusog. Hindi naman tayo pinagbabawalang magpayaman, huwag lang ganid at galing sa nakaw yung ating kayamanan. Magmalasakit hmm. sa mga nangangailangan, hindi puro pakamkam para sa sarili. Maganon. O ngayon, pati yung ating pag-aalaga sa sarili natin, o hindi ba yun ay kailangan ni disiplina, yung disiplina natin sa katawan natin, eh yun eh pangangalaga din sa iba. Di ba natin nakikita ngayon? Kung ayaw nating mahawa yung ibang tao, aba, 
eh we follow the protocols. Huwag tayong matigas ang ulo. Kung ayaw nating mahawa yung ibang tao, magpabakuna tayo. Ngayon, pagkatapos ng pandemya, balikan mo ba tayo sa dati na walang disiplina? Pwede tayo magbalik loob. Kaya nga ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, pumunta dito sa lupa. At pinakita sa atin, pwede kayong magbalik loob. Bakit? Hindi naman kayo likas na masama eh. Nilikha ko kayo na mababait. Kaya nga nung nilikha ko kayo at kayo'y sinulyapan ko nung nilikha ko kayo, ang unang namutawi sa aking bibig, good! Mabuti! Diba? Wala naman sa ating sinilang na suplado. Wala naman tayo sa ating sinilang na ganit. Wala naman tayong sinilang na kuripot. Wala naman tayo sa ating sinilang na mayabang. Napulot lang natin yun habang tayo nabubuhay. Kaya ang ginawa natin, Panginoong Yesu Kristo, pumunta rito at tinalunton yung ating buhay magmula sa pagsilam hanggang sa libingan. Pinakita sa atin, o oh, ganito, pwede kayong magbago at maging ganito. Hindi ako mayaman, pero hindi kinakailangan yung maman para bumail. Di ba? Hindi kinakailangan maging napaka makapangyarihan para magmalasaki. O yun ang tinuro sa atin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kahit na marami kang problema, hindi kang mawala ng pag-asa. Ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, binigyan tayo ng tsansa. Bakit? Sapagat alam niya, pwede tayong magbalik loob. O kaya huwag natin sabihin walang solusyon itong pandemyang ito. Simple. Go back to discipline. Maghugas ng kamay. Pag-us ko mga simple-simple mga bagay. Ah, huwag patalsikan yung kausap nyo ng laway ninyo. Puro hygienic lang naman yan, ah. Simple rules. Huwag masyadong madikit. Ano yan? Di ba mga simple rules lang naman yan? Magpakbakuna kayo na hindi naman kayo. Hindi ba masakit yun eh? Oh. Mahirap bang gawin yun? Di ba disiplina lang ang kailangan ko? Mahirap bang magbala sakit yung mga kapitalistang namumuhunan na ipagtaguyod yung kanilang mga obrero na naghihikahos? Pag yung mga obrero hindi makapagtrabaho, babagsak yung kanilang negosyo. At yun mga obrero, kung di magsisika na makitulong dun sa kanilang mga amo, mawawalan sila ng trabaho. Ipag, pag mamalasakit lang sa isa-isa yun na. Ibig sabihin niya, hindi tayo makapaglalakbay kung di tayo sama-sama. O, ayan. Kaya yan ang adbiento. Paglalakbay na sama-sama. Kaya tinawag na adbiento. O come, all ye faithful. O yun, no? kinakanta-kanta natin sa Pasko. O come, all you faithful. Ha? Lahat. Hindi sinabing, O come, ikaw lang mag-isa ang makararanas ng Pasko. All. Walang maiiwan. Sama-sama tayong maglalakbay patungo kay Kristo. Yung mga may sakit at matanda, alagaan natin para merong masayang Pasko. Huwag natin sabihin, ang Pasko ay para lamang sa mga bata. Wala. Ano gagawin sa matatanda at mga may sakit? Iiwanan natin. O, gamitin natin yung ginawa ng mga na, hindi nawawala ng pag-asa dito. Yung paralitiko, sinama nila sila sa lakaran at lakbayan patungo kay Kristo. O, sino lang ang magkakaroon ng masaya at masarap na Pasko? Yung mayayaman lang. E, eh, 45 o 50% daw naghihikahos ng mga pamilya dito sa Pilipinas ngayon. Ayon sa statistika, o, sila lang ba ang makakaranas ng Pasko? Yung mga mariribasa? O, hindi ah. Sama-sama tayo. Pakantahin natin. O come all you take. Walang maiiwan. At bakit walang maiiwan? Bumalik tayo sa pagbabalik loob. Na tinatawag nating new normal. Ano 
hindi naman yung normal sapagkat ito'y noong pang panahon na tayo nilikha. Ano yun yung normal na yun? Ibalik ang disiplina sa ating buhay. Oh, we all stand to offer our prayers. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church of God may be constantly at work at carrying out Christ's saving mission through forgiveness of sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be ready to forgive others, realizing that this is the shared duty of all who follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who feel paralyzed because of their sinfulness may find true spiritual healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive comfort and hope in Jesus, who suffered for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those who may promise to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, grant us the eternal hope that will make us brave in order to face all the difficulties of life, never surrendering but always assured of your help that wells up forever. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, works of human hands, this will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us, that we may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below, gain for us the price of eternal redemption, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. 
It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glorious without end, we acclaim. fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down the spirit upon them like the Jew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, Fidelis, our auxiliary bishop, Gerard, the master of the order of preachers and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Satan. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the receptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. 
Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That prayer for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. The Lord proclaims, Repent, the kingdom of God is upon you. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He is raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of the servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be, forever. Amen. The Lord proclaims, Repent, the, the kingdom of God is upon you. Alleluia. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit as we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kami po'y taus-puso nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nakiisa sa amin sa pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia. Naway pagpatuloy po ninyo ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Makakaasa kayong pagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo as sa inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now join us as we pray for the blessing of the sick and then followed by the prayer for the blessing of the rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection, of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Amen.